In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Tailwind CSS in the easiest possible way so you can use it with PHP, Node.js, Python or any other backend programming language. The instructions are going to be put in the video description so I will be following each line at a time and tell you what they do. First of all, in your application, create a folder, call it Tailwind CSS. Move to that folder from the terminal. So I'm going to do CD Tailwind CSS to be on that folder. At the moment, I am already there. So if you open the terminal again, it will look like this. Then I will just go to that folder, CD Tailwind CSS. I'm going to copy the first command and paste it and run it. It will take a few seconds to download all the needed modules. And you will see that once that's done, inside the Tailwind CSS folder, you will get this created for you automatically. So this is the first part of the tutorial. Then we are going to take the second command, which is this one, mpx Tailwind CSS init paste it in the terminal and run it. Just so you see the whole command here, I will zoom out a little bit there. This command, once it's run, it will create this file called Tailwind config JS. Once you have that file, open it. And right here is where you need to add two new keys actually one new key called mode and the mode is going to be JIT for just in time and porch is which files you want to watch so Tailwind is going to create the necessary final app.css based on those files so the idea is that right here under the main folder you will have some files so for example the index.html file where you will have some HTML and obviously you will have classes set to these elements. So when you look at this file here, this porch means which files you want to watch in order to generate the proper CSS final output. In this case, if you look at the porch there, we are going to set it up to be Give me just a second here. The following path. We are going to say that we want to watch every file that is outside this directory. Remember, this is inside the ten Tailwind CSS folder. So we're going to go up one step. And then we're going to say that we want to watch every file that has extension HTML. Meaning that if you go up one step, you will go to the main folder, in this case, htdocs, and then Tailwind is going to watch for everything that is .html, in this case, the index file. Save this, Tailwind config, and close it. So that was the other part of the tutorial. Then it says that you need to create a file called tailwindcss.css. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to build that file inside that folder and set up these three lines of code. So I'll copy those three lines and put it inside the tailwindcss.css file. Save it and you can close that file. And the last command for development is this one, but I'm going to make a slight change because what I would like to end up with is a file right under the htdocs folder called app.css. So I'm going to just create a command and I will say that I wanted to do this. So let me show you or explain what this command does for you. It says that when we run it, the Tailwind CSS is going to look at the Tailwind.css, which is this one here. Actually, we call it Tailwind CSS. CSS. So it's going to watch this folder, this file, which is that one, and it's going to create an output 
to one folder upwards, meaning that it will go outside the Tailwind CSS folder and it's going to create the app.css. And this watch flag, dash dash watch, means that if there are any changes on this file, which is this one there, or if there are any changes on any of these porch files, then it will create, it will generate a new app.css, this one there. So I will copy this and then I will paste it in the terminal. Press enter. The first time it takes a couple of seconds and you have the app.css build there. So no matter which programming language you are using, this is the steps that you have to follow in order to have Tailwind working. Let's give it a try. I'm going to go to the index page and this is very, very simple. Since I already have the app.css created, I will just link to it. I will link to app.css in this page. Save it. And I'm going to open it. I'm using PHP. Actually, I'm using an Apache server here. So I can just point to localhost from my browser. So I will do that. If this was Node.js or Python, the principle applies to any system you're running. So just make sure that you have link to the app.css. And then I'm going to press enter. And then I don't have anything in the page. So I'm going to add something to it. I'm just going to, let me see what I have in another file so I can show you that. Sure, I'm going to create an h1 tag, first of all, where I will say, <clears throat> PC Tailwind CSS. Save it. And as you can see here, this already rebuilt the CSS, the final CSS for me automatically. It took almost no time, 22 milliseconds. And I'm going to check this in the browser, reload. And then you can see that the H1 is not really looking like a normal H1. There's no margin, there's no padding on this page. And that's why, well, that's because Tailwind is actually taking effect here. So I'm going to add a few classes to it. Let me just do this. And here I will set up a class on this H1. And I will say that this is text, something really simple. And I will select or extra large and I want this to be text blue for example and I will do a text blue 500 and then you can just play with any Tailwind class that you can get from the website. Saved again it took now 41 milliseconds and when I reload you can see that it took effect. So this is how you set up Tailwind CSS to work in production, in development. So let's see, we can go to the last command for production. So you need to understand that this file, the app.css is for development. So I'm going to reveal in file explorer. And this file actually is 11 kilobytes, which is not much at all. It's not, not a lot of data, but let's see, we can make it even smaller. So when you look at it, you will have hundreds of lines. You can see 606 lines of code and the more classes you add to the HTML pages, the more this app.css will grow. So what you do is once you finish developing your application, you can run this command here. This says MPX, Tailwind CSS, and this will be also Tailwind CSS. Just fix that. It will be fixed in the video description, of course. And then I will produce a final CSS. So let's do dot dot forward slash. So we get the final in the same level as the app.css. I will copy this command. I will pretend that we have finished coding the application. So I don't need this command to be running, which is running already in the terminal. So I will kill it. And then I'm going to run this last command. So I'm done, I have tested the application, 
paste the command, press enter, and this should create a final CSS that is right there. So if we look at this final CSS, you can see that this is minified. It's just one huge line. I'm not going to scroll all the way to the right so I don't make you dizzy. But if I look at the size of this file, this is only three kilobytes. So now you have a professional running system set up with, with Tailwind where you have the development CSS and the final CSS. So if you want to just go and in the index page point to the final CSS, then instead of doing up, you will do final and then you can deploy to the server of your choice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching it.